New estimates suggesting Alzheimer's is a bigger problem than anyone thought. According to the Alzheimer's Disease International, an estimated 135 million people will be living with dementia by 2050. Communities today are pulling together to raise funds and awareness of the disease. Over 5,000 people gathering in Cambridge, all to raise awareness and funds for the Alzheimer's Association. Every September, cities across the nation hold their annual Walk to End Alzheimer's to engage local communities. The Walk to End Alzheimer's nationwide is the largest single fundraising event for the Alzheimer's Association. It brings in almost 80% of their budget every year. Here in Boston, the walk unites many families who have loved ones impacted by Alzheimer's. We're all walking today for my dad. Um, he, he suffered with Alzheimer's for about eight years. Um, we plan on doing it every year and raising money to help other families that are, you know, you know maybe they can have an opportunity to get more help than we did or um, speak to people and make them feel good about, you know, this disease, you know, it happens and it steals, it just steals parts of your brain little by little, your memories, your loved ones, little by little, but just to, you know, kind of ensure people that, you know, um, there's a good side to it and it just brings families together. Uh, seeing the fact that um, so many people are truly affected by this, so many families, friends, and personally myself, my great aunt, um, that we felt the need to pull together and do walk together. Companies like Dunkin Donuts supported the cause. Dunkin donated hundreds of purple frosted and sprinkled donuts to the event. Even the city of Boston contributes time and resources to the walk. The EMTs on duty are volunteering and have been doing so for the past decade. Uh, basically seeing everybody, uh, the smiles on their faces, knowing they're raising it in memory of somebody, uh, for someone that's battling Alzheimer's, knowing that our efforts are actually doing something to fund the problem and someday looking forward to a cure. So it's a really, really supportive community, but as of right now, there's just not a lot of money out there for Alzheimer's research. This year, the walk raised over $918,000, but the efforts don't stop there. Although the walk is the biggest event of the year, the Alzheimer's Association works all year round to build stronger relationships with the local communities. We've really been raising uh, a lot of awareness in the Boston area this year, so it's been exciting to, to see more people realize the importance of this cause and, and, and kind of get a little bit more, uh, a little more exposure and a, and a little more attention from uh, from, from the public. So. Volunteers wasting no time in thanking people who participated in this year's walk. Taking time out of their busy schedules, their goal? To call every single person who contributed to the walk's success. It's a really important cause. I, you know, I volunteer with the association uh, throughout the week sometimes and they do a lot of great things and I just think it's really important to help out as much as I can. Volunteer <laughs> coordinator Jason says one of the association's goals yes, is to get younger generations involved especially college students. All in its mission? Help move this uh, fight against Alzheimer's forward. The local Massachusetts and New Hampshire chapter continue their efforts all year round, reaching out to people of all walks of life. So 